it is Keely. I am popping in tonight to show you guys the fifth card from the Craft with Heart January through April card subscription. As we have done in the past, we're going to create the first card as the instructions tell us to do. And then the second card, we're going to jazz up. So this is a shaker card to begin with. So it's already going to have a little bit of um, bling associated with it because it's going to have the iridescent sequins in there. But we're also going to jazz it up with the baller yeah, ballerina glitter paper using the um, heart shaker thin cuts. And then using the clear shimmer brush and the retired bashful shimmer brush. So it's a light pink color. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing I'm going to show you, like I always do, is what comes in the kit when you purchase it. Um, there are two ways to get the subscription, and that is a four-month subscription or an annual. And that is, this is what you get, is you get this cute little lagoon box. It's about 12 inches wide, or 12 inches tall. And inside is everything you need to create 24 cards. So you're going to make 12 cards and two different, or 20, 12 different designs and two cards of each. Inside, we'll just open it. Uh, you're going to get the envelopes that come with. So there's 24 envelopes in this kit. There is the, the yellow and the green and the pink. And then you're going to get your cardstock bases, right? Your bases to create your cards. There's going to be all these different punch outs for the kits. So there is no... Um, cutting needed. You don't need a paper trimmer. You don't need your scissors. Um, you, the, you will make six of the cards will be um, shaker cards. So you're going to get the foam to make those as well as the clear acetate. And then you are also going to get, I'm going to set this off to the side. Uh, you're going to get an exclusive stamp set that comes in the kit. And each stamp set is always different with each different kit, so it's great. So there's a whole bunch of different sentiments on here, ranging from birthday to sympathy to thank you to baby to congrats. Okay, so all those. You're going to get a mini one-by-one -one ink pad, and this kit is a black one. And you're also going to get, I believe it's a two, yep, two by three and a half, close to my heart, mini thin block in there. You will also always get one set of embellishments. So for the embellishments in this kit was the new iridescent flower sequins. So they come in a baggie. I took them out and I put them in our craft jars because it's much easier to handle um, pulling them out of here. Oh, which made me think of one thing I didn't have yet over in my stash here. I always use the anti-static pouch when I'm making a shaker card too because these little sequins get so super staticky, especially during the winter here in Wisconsin. And another thing I do when I use a shaker card is I use our rub and remove eraser to get that help pull that. There's a clear film on top of the acetate so that it doesn't get scratched while it's um, in transit. Okay. So I use that as well as uh, we're going to use my bone folder today. And when I'm doing a shaker card, I always use our pokey tool. I use the pokey tool for everything though, you guys, to be honest, that's always on my desk. So let's get started. The first card we're going to make is a card um, based on the description or the instructions that come in the kit. And you know what I didn't do? I did not get my stamp chamois wet. <laughs> so it is a hard, crunchy piece right now. So we'll have to clean my stamp set afterwards. I'm going to set the one set off to the side that we're going to make um, the more glitzy and glamoured one. And we're going to begin with our standard shaker card. So as I said, the bases come pre-printed. So this one has fun little, I don't know, they're not hexagons, six-sided, one, two, three, four, five, six-sided, whatever that would be. <laughs> and then it has this fun scalloped heart border and then these uh, watercolors down at the bottom. So they're already pre-scored, so you can just fold that in half. And that's what I use my bone folder to get a nice crisp fold on there. Okay, and it tells us to stamp the sentiment on the heart die cut and attach to the card base. So this heart is awesome on the bottom. Here, can you see it? It has like the fake pink splatter already to it. So we don't even have to do any splattering. It's already done for us. And the sentiment they used is let's celebrate. So on my stamp set here, let's find the let's celebrate. Let's celebrate is right here. It has not been used yet. So I'm peel that off. We're going to stick it right onto my block. Oops. I am freezing down in my craft room today. My nose is running and I'm shaking actually because I'm cold. Um, I am going to just 
season that by rubbing it across the inside of my arm so that the um, oils on my arm make it so it's not so tacky. The other thing I'm going to do is I love using my Versamat. It is 12 by 12, so it's perfect for scrapbooking, but it's also great for cards, especially if you're doing any stamping because you can flip it over and the back of it is foam. So it's perfect. So you don't have to use the foam that comes with your stamp set. You can just flip your Versamat over and use it. And we're going to stamp that right in the center. So we're going to take our one by one mini black ink pad. When I use our full size ink pads, I would take the stamp and dip it into the ink pad. But because it's such a small little area, it's much easier to hang on to the little ink pad and just dab, dab, dab. Okay. And then we are going to line that up in the center of that ink splatter. And I hold it on for just a short period of time to let the ink get in there. And we have a perfect stamp sentiment. And I can't clean that off right now because I did not get my stamp sheeting <laughs> wet. So will you reuse that one again on the next card anyway? So I'm going to flip my Versa mat back over and bring our card pieces back in. And it said, so after we stamped, it says stamp the sentiment on heart die cut and attach to your card base. All right. So I'm just going to use my adhesive here, and I just use our regular Tombow tape runner. Helps if I have the right side over for you guys. Okay, and it's showing it just a little bit off kilter, so it's showing about a couple hearts. Whoops, I told you I'm shaking because I'm cold. A couple hearts in, and I'm just going to plop that one right about there. Okay. So we got that down, and then it's telling you to build a shaker window on heart die cut tip. Refer to the shaker window assembly tips. So if you have never made a shaker card before, the assembly tips on how to create that are written right here, okay? So it just says carefully remove the outer foam heart from the foam tape backing sheet and attach to the card. So that is what I use my pokey tool for, because I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going to ring this up here. The heart foam so there's this outer edge, and that's what we're going to use to create the shaker. Then inside are all these teeny tiny little, can you see that? Teeny tiny pieces of um, foam tape that you can then use on other cards, on your layouts, um, and on some of the items that go onto the card. Just depends on how thick you want, if you want to send it via mail or not. So I always take my pokey tool and I trace alongside the, in, the inner portion of there we go, of um, the shaker foam. It just helps separate it a little bit better so that you're not trying to pull it off when they're still attached to the little individual pieces inside. Okay, so I traced it around twice. And then you just have to lift up and the backing off. You wanna leave that top backing, the top of it on so only the back is sticky right now, okay? So that's what you're left with. This is the piece that we're using to create the shaker. And then these little pieces are all extra that you can use. So I'll set those off to the side. And I'm going to stick the foam onto our card. And that stuff is pretty sticky. So I'm just trying to get it down. There we go. And you're going to leave the backing on. So this isn't sticky. This top part's not sticky because you don't want your sequins to stick into it right away. Okay, and that's what it tells us. Carefully remove the outer foam heart from the foam tape backing sheet and attach it to the card. Tip, leave the foam piece on the backing sheet for later use. Keeping the card flat, place your desired amount of sequins inside the frame. So another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the block down just so it holds my card flat so it's not flopping. And then, oh, you know what else? I take the um, my anti-static pouch and I will go inside that heart. And I'm going to go right along the inside of where it's stickier on the inside of that foam tape to try to make the inside of it not so sticky so that the sequins don't stick to that, okay? Because this stuff is, they're very, they're quite staticky, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to unscrew, I love these craft jars, you guys. They're perfect for these little doodads and sequins. So I'm going to take a little pinch of sequins and just spread them out. Oh, and I dropped one on there. Try to keep them inside maybe a little bit more. Do you don't want too many because then um, you can't read what the thing is, you know, what your sentiment says. So I'm going to close that back up. 
And then I just, again, use my pokey tool to kind of pull them away from the sides there. Oh, but there's a little one right here. Just so that the static doesn't. Okay. And the next on the tip, remove your protective film, right? So we're going to get that ready. And one side has the film on and the other. So one side is going to be more glossy than the other. I'm trying to see. I think it's this side here. So I take the um, rub and remove eraser. And if you just do it on the top a little bit, maybe I have the wrong side. Okay, which side are you? There we go. There, can you see? And it's just kind of like you peel that off and you're left with the scrap that you can then throw away and it sticks to everything. I'm gonna set that off to the side and then you can peel off your foam backing and do it carefully so that your sequins aren't flopping all over. And then you're just gonna stick this right on and you can see the sequins start to pop a little they start to jump perfect and then i'm just going to make sure that i'm pushing down hard on that foam to secure the acetate to the shaker okay perfect and then um we are just going to cover that up then and it you get the pop out of a punch out so it's the yellow heart so we're going to add some foam, or we're going to add some adhesive to the back of that, and it just covers that up, okay? So I'm going to use my regular close to my heart tape runner on that one because it's the dots, and so it doesn't stick, it doesn't create as much um, stickiness. Okay. I'm going to line that up. I'm trying to get on my tiptoes, and hopefully you don't see the top of my head while I'm trying to look at this. There we go. So that's the outer part of our shaker. Let's celebrate. How cute is that? I love making shaker cards. All right. And then the last part then is just to um, dress it up. So we have the cute little daisy and we have the cute little foam or the little heart. I'm not going to put 3D foam tape behind those because if you were to mail this, this right now would go through the machine. But if I pop these up even more, then it would not and they'd have to manually cancel it. So I don't want my clients to have to, or my customers or my friends to have to pay extra when they receive it in the mail. So I'm just going to add regular adhesive to the back of both of these but when we do the second card when we're jazzing it up you bet I'm gonna add some more um, pop to that so this cute little heart is gonna go right here and then the fun little daisy is gonna go right next to that and there you go that is our cute 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 let's celebrate shaker card there's just enough sequins in there to um, when it falls down you can still read Let's Celebrate, and then when it's up and above, it's great, okay? So that's the first one that is made as is with the instructions. So now let's create the second one where we're going to jazz it up a little bit with things that I had from my stash, okay? So set that up to the side. We're going to fold that. Use my bone folder to give it a nice crisp edge. Okay, and then we're going to stamp our sentiment but before before we stamp it I am going to we're going to use a little bling so remember I showed you that it has um, the already splattered look to it inside there I'm going to take um, the retired uh, goodness I said it before bashful I couldn't remember the color bashful sh uh, shimmer brush and I am going to squeeze it over my garbage can Oh, see, and I'm glad I did it over the garbage can, you guys, because it just dripped big globs in there. All right, and then I'm just going to do a little shimmering in the center here. Okay. I hadn't used that one in a while, so I didn't know if it was juicy or not. And then I'm just going to show you guys how pretty that is. So it's going to... Oh, I got to wait. 
there we go. Oh, bring it this way. <laughs> I'm trying to watch my laptop to make sure that you know, it, the heart is actually in the picture. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm going to let that dry just a little bit there. Okay, and then I, we're going to get our sentiment. And I'm just going to leave it the same sentiment. And then I'm going to ink up, ink it up. And it says, let's celebrate if you missed the first card that we did. So this is the jazzed up version. The first card we did is as is and how the instructions showed us to use it. And while that is drying just a little bit longer, I am going to show you guys, <coughs> excuse me, we are using the Bashful Glitter Behavior, okay? So I cut out a little section right out of the corner here. And then I used the, let's flip it over, the Thin Cuts, the Heart Shaker Window Z3870. So they're on a magnetic sheet. So there are... Um, two different sets. So this one down here is going to cut out full size hearts. Okay. It's going to make a full solid heart. The one up above here is going to cut out the outlines of just the hearts. So it's going to be a really thin, um, little outline. And I wasn't sure that you would get to tell that it was a heart if I used, um, this glitter paper. So I chose the solids and it ended up, so this is the negative piece, right? So it ends up like this, and you end up with this heart. And then I'm just gonna use my pokey tool and pop out all the hearts that we punched out. Okay. And then you can totally go back and use this piece on another card if you wanted to, or on a layout, right? So it's pretty, pretty little glittery goodness. And then we are left with these little hearts here that I am then going to put into the shaker along with our iridescent sequins. So I wanted to show you guys all those. And then I'm going to set those off to the side. I'm going to open this so I can put them in there. I'm going to set those off to the side then. And our shimmer brush should be about dry so that I can add our stamped sentiment. And you'll see what I did with the stamped sentiment. So since we stamped it, um, I put the ink on a little bit. I'll go right because then we I showed you the hearts you're just gonna breathe out a little and that will re moisten that ink and then I'm just gonna hold that down for a little couple seconds and lift it up and there it is just like it had been fresh see can you see that let's celebrate and it's now got the shimmer behind it so we're gonna set that off to the side and flip our Versamat back over. And we're gonna build our shaker card again, okay? So, oh, you know what I didn't do? Is I only took out one set of shaker foam. <laughs> the foam and the acetate when I was prepping this. All right, so we're gonna take our pokey tool again and just trace around to loosen up that foam so that it pops right off. When you don't do this, some of these inside little pieces stick. And it makes it harder to get it off, okay? So we have that off. And I, I usually grab it from the back. I peel the backing off a little so then I can get my thumb under there. Got that loose. And then we're gonna add, do, 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 do. Where it is? Okay, and we're going to put that about where it was on the last one. Okay, and then we'll pull this off and we'll set the rest of the foam off to the side. And this holds its um, shape pretty good. You know, you can bend it and pull it a little bit, but it holds it pretty good. So we're going to stick this down. It's pretty sticky <laughs> once you attempt to get it down on there. And I'm going to push it down pretty good, push it pretty hard. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take the anti-static pouch and go around the edges again of that heart so that our sequins don't stick to that part. And then I'm just gonna lightly tap that. 
tap our sentiment. And you can see the anti you can see the, um, it's like baby, it's uh, uh, like baby powder. Okay, dust off the rest, the extra excess. All right, and then we are going to, I'm gonna put in some of the hearts. And I'm not probably gonna use all of them because some of them are pretty big. I'm gonna use a lot of the smaller ones and probably put in, probably put in three big ones. And then we're gonna use the other little ones for sure. And I'm flipping them over to make sure that the glitter is upright before, instead of just like flopping them in there. And I'll put a couple of the medium sized ones in there too. All right, that looks pretty good. And we left a few in there. And then I'm gonna take some of the iridescent flowers and add those to it too. I'm gonna take my pokey and just move those little ones away from the edge there. Okay, now we're gonna take the acetate and the rub and remove eraser. I think I got the wrong side again. Yep, it's this side. Just depends on the way the light above me is. There we go. And peel off that backing. So we're good to go and ready. On that and it sticks to my hand the electricity right I can't the static I can't get the <laughs> thingy off okay and just to be safe to make sure that this is staying down I'm just gonna put my block back on the end to help it stay secure and we're gonna peel off that backing okay and I thought I saw see if I did see one right here all right, my acetate, I'm gonna put that on, and you can see them pop up there. But everything stayed in place, so that's good. All right, next we're gonna put on the overlay to cover up that foam, because that's not pretty, right? I seriously love these cards. So fast and easy. All right, we got our shaker. And you got some fun, glittery hearts inside there for Let's Celebrate. I love it. The last part, then, is the two little pieces that come. Whoops. So you have the little daisy and the little heart. The little heart I am just going to leave as is um, and put that on with regular tape runner. So that one's flat. And then the daisy, I'm actually going to use a piece of um, leftover from the heart. Add some foam tape there. Peel the backing off here. And we're going to stick that one right next to it. And then I'm going to take the retired bashful shimmer brush. And the center, I'm going to make pretty pink. Okay. And then I had the clear shimmer brush with me. And, oh, I'm having a hard time opening that one. I was just going to color in the petals on here. And it'll just give them a clear little look. A little bit of glitz to that. You could also, I'm also going to do these hearts right here. It's not super noticeable, but when the light hits it just right, you'll be able to to see that. Okay. Yeah. Let's move it right here so you guys can see. Try to twist it and turn it a little bit. See if you can see any of the glitz and glam from the shimmer brushes. All right. And then the hearts will tend to move around in there. And then you can also, like, if you do it that way, then they'll get out of the way of the let's celebrate. So we have two fun cards that we created tonight. One, as is the instructions show, and the other, you'd think I would learn to shut my alarms off before I do these lives, wouldn't you? Um, and the other is jazzed up a little bit where we used the bashful shimmer brush 
in the center of the flower and then over the sentiment inside and the clear shimmer brush on the outside of the daisy and in these little hearts. We also used the um, new ballerina glitter paper and the heart, the heart um, thin cut set to do some extra little hearts along with the iridescent flowers inside there. So those are our two fun additions to that card. Now, to go over the pricing for this, if you guys haven't seen any of the prior videos, we have two different options for getting the card subscription box. The first one is a four month and the second is a 12 month. So in the four month, you will get that box every four months, okay? So if you ordered it in February, you will get it now and then you'll get another one in May and you'll get another one in September and it's on an auto ship. So if you don't want, after you got this one and you don't want the next one, you have to make sure you go in and tell it you don't want it and then they won't send it to you. But the box itself then for that one set of kit cards, you get a 10% discount on everything that you make for 24 cards. It's $49.95 and then you pay the $7.95 in shipping each time you get a new box. If you're like me and you want the biggest bang for your buck, you want to do an annual subscription. Same thing's going to happen. You're still going to get that box in February. You'll turn around and get a box in May and a box in September, but you're going to pay that upfront cost only one time. So you're going to pay, so it works out to be $43.95 because they're going to give you a 20% discount instead of just the 10 and you're going to get free shipping. You're not going to pay shipping on any of those three boxes where um, when you do the four month, you would pay it three times. Okay. Does that make sense? So you're gonna get a one-time charge in February if you were to purchase this card subscription and it would cost you $131.85 total out the door with your shipping, no, free shipping, but you, there would be tax on that. If you're a numbers person like I am, you know I broke it down for you then. The Craft With Heart card subscription, when you're doing it in annual, so you're gonna get that four month box, um, but it's an annual. The annual that each box ends up being $43.95. And then I take off the $18.95. This is not a consumable. This stamp set is something that you can continue to use on your cards and layouts and other projects. You keep this. You're not, give, this card I'm giving to my friend. This card I'm giving to a family member. This I'm not giving to anybody. I'm keeping this. So I consider this a tool. Those are consumable products. This is not. So if you take that $18.95 off, that means that your cards, to make 24 cards, only cost you $25. $25 divided by those 24 cards is only a dollar for a card and you get the envelopes, you guys. So it's a great deal because you can't even buy a card in a card store or at Walgreens for that anymore. And you're making it from your heart, right? You've created a fun thing and you are sharing that love with your friends and family. All right, guys. If you guys have any questions on what we did with card number five from the January through April card making subscription program, feel free to post it down below or send me a private message and I'll get right back to you. Otherwise, I hope you have a great night. Stay happy, stay healthy, and keep crafting, friends. I'll talk to you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.